Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we are back out on another local walk and we woke up this morning and we decided we wanted to walk somewhere completely new and different so we started at the Belper Mill again and instead of heading down the River Derwent towards Milford we decided to walk up the River Derwent and we're heading towards Wyver Nature Reserve or Wither, Wyver, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it and then from there we're going to head up towards Belper Lane End which is a small little village and from there, we're just going to explore the area. I've plotted a vague route on our viewfinder this morning, just because I had no idea what there was in the area. Had a look on the map as well. And today feels like the first walk we've done this year where it hasn't been uh, below five degrees, which is nice. Um, we've had a, had a lot of rain, as you can probably see down there. We get quite a lot of bad flooding in Belper in the area from the River Derwent, it spills its banks quite often so hopefully the walk isn't too muddy uh, we're heading up some hills so hopefully it won't be so like I said we're heading towards the nature reserve now and I'll uh, catch up with you there So we've made it to the nature reserve and it's looked after by the Derbyshire Wildlife Trust as you probably saw and funded by the co-op and it's a really beautiful place even on a day like today the sun isn't shining and it's a bit flooded everywhere there's loads of wildlife out and it's really beautiful we saw lots of birds I'm not going to try and name them because I'm not an expert on birds by any means but it literally took about 10-15 minutes to walk here from Belper so we found another gem so if you live in the Belper area and you're looking for a local walk, so far this seems to be a bit of a winner. But anyway, we're just leaving the nature reserve now and we are heading up towards Belper Lane End and I'll catch up with you up there. So we're just leaving Belper Lane End now. It was a nice little village and had a, a pub called the Bull's Head. And look, looked to have a nice big beer garden around the back. So uh, I think we'll definitely come back here and plan a little stop for a drink when things are back to normal. So we headed out of Belper Lane End and joined a footpath that you start at Gore's Farm. And we're heading up towards Wilder Brook now. And from Wilder Brook, we head towards Handley's Woods. And I'll probably catch up with you at the woods. So we've just got to Handley Woods, as you can probably see, and uh, so far this walk's been really nice. We've walked through some absolutely lovely farms where we saw two of the friendliest pigs I think you'll ever see. They bounded over to us. I thought they were dogs for a second. They were awesome. And then from that farm we've been walking through cornfields, which are beautiful rolling hills and just stunning views. Uh, so, so far we've had a bit of everything in this walk. It's all really well signposted as well. I'm not 100% sure what the route is, but a lot of the signposts have um, 
Amber Valley number 14 uh, on them so so there must be some sort of website or something where you can find these routes and we must be doing route number 14 or part of it anyway so I'm going to check that out when I get back and one thing I will say about this walk is try not to do it when it's done a lot of rain we've just avoided the worst of the mud um, but we could definitely tell that some parts if it had just rained a lot it would have been absolutely horrendous for the mud but um, it's been all right for us today so yeah we'll walk through Hanley Woods and then from there I think we head towards the footpath that goes from Milford to Belper um, which I've done a video on before um, so you might recognize that part and you get a really lovely view of Belper from there I've just seen uh, one of these number 14 that's what I've been talking about Amber Valley number 14 routeways so there must be some sort of uh, some sort of website or something where I can find all these or a book or something so I'm definitely going to have a look at that and I'll leave something in the description if I uh, find out a bit more about that but anyway we'll walk through the woods and I'll catch up with you probably when we're on that footpath from uh, Milford to Belper and uh, I'll show you the view from there so I'll see you there To get onto the path between Milford and Belper now and there's a good view here of uh, where we've been you can see uh, Hanley Woods over there and we came from way out over here through the woods down into the valley here and we just walked along the road for a couple hundred meters and up and up to the hill here and now we're heading towards the footpath between Milford and Belper and we're actually on the Midshires Way now as you can as you can see from the sign here and I'll be totally honest I'm not 100% certain where the uh, Midshires Way starts and finishes and where it exactly goes so that'll be uh, something to look at again after the walk and uh, maybe if it looks good I might walk it because I'm planning on doing the Dermot Valley Heritage Way when this lockdown's over but anyway we're heading towards the uh path between Belper and uh, Milford now so I'll uh, catch up with you there and I'll show you the view because it's a stunning view of Belper and the area so I'll see you there so we've made it to the Belper to Milford path and as you can see gorgeous view up here and that's the mill over there and we're heading down this path now which goes down towards the River Derwent and that basically takes you all the way back to the mill over there so we're coming towards the end of the walk now and I think this is definitely my favourite local walk that I've done during this lockdown it has a bit of everything really so yeah, it's uh, definitely been one of my, my favourite walks I've done during lockdown starting in Belper so if you live in the Belper area I really recommend this walk um, so yeah, we'll carry on towards the the mill now and I'll catch up with you at the end of the walk at the mill So 
so we've made it home. Um, the walk was 12 kilometers in total and it uh, took us about three hours. So uh, a really good walk to do on a Sunday. And this walk was definitely one of my favorite walks we've uh, done during lockdown. Uh, definitely one of the best walks I've done in the kind of exploring my local area series. And I highly recommend it. I think there's definitely something for everyone on this walk. There was, you know, beautiful woodlands and nature reserve, rolling hills, great views. It was just, it was an all around just brilliant walk. And even if you don't like walking very far, if you live in Belpo or in the area or you're visiting the area after lockdown, um, I highly recommend just walking to the Wyvern Nature Reserve. It was only 10 minutes, I think, or so. It was like probably about half a K or a K at most to get there from uh, the Belpo East Mill. Um, and it was beautiful there. We saw so many birds, which again, I can't tell you what they are exactly because I'm not a, a bird expert, but I did show the little board which had all the different species on. But yeah, like I said, if you know if you can't walk very far or you, you just don't like walking very far, just a 10 minute walk down there and you're in a beautiful uh, nature spot. And I know from personal experience living in the center of Belper, uh, there's not, there's, I found it quite hard to find different walks and that for me was something different and it was beautiful. I'd happily go there again. But yeah, great walk. I really recommend it if you live in the Belper area. Um, especially during lockdown, it's great to get out and uh, get some fresh air, especially on a Sunday. And the weather at the moment, 13 degrees today. <laughs> so it really felt like spring was coming, the snowdrops were out, the daffodils are definitely ready to burst, and uh, I just love this time of year. And if you like this video, you found it useful, you just enjoyed watching the walk, feel free to leave a thumbs up and a subscribe, it would really help me out with my channel, and it'll uh, keep motivating me to do more videos like this. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're all managing to get out and explore your local area and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.